In less than five minutes, I'm going to have you convinced that you're gonna get more out of omega-3s by eating cold water fish directly than just taking supplements. And it all has to do with something very, very interesting called omega-7 fatty acids. And here's the interesting thing, we're hearing day in and day out about omega-3s, but what about this mysterious omega-7 fatty acid? What's it all about? You see, there's something that's totally changing the game. Omega-7s work in conjunction with omega-3s. The problem is we're always hearing about omega-3s and they're good, I promote them a lot. And we're always hearing about how we're consuming way too much in the way of omega-6s. But no one's talking about omega-7s and I'm gonna explain the details in this video. So omega-7s are a monounsaturated fat, which means that they have only one unsaturated bond. But that's really not the important part here. They're usually found in macadamia nuts, they're found in cold water fish, so we're talking about sardines, we're talking about sea bass, we're talking about salmon, stuff like that. And we're also talking about something very interesting called a sea buckthorn berry, but I'll get to that in another video. It has one main fatty acid, and it's known as palmitoleic acid. And that palmitoleic acid is the absolute critical component of everything I'm talking about in this video. It is what is called a lipokine. And the way that you can remember what a lipokine is, is it sort of sounds like lipoking, meaning king of the fats, right? So whenever you think of lipokine, just remember lipoking. Lipokine essentially controls what other fats do in the body. So omega-7s, in effect, control how our bodies utilize those omega-3s. Starting to make the connection with the whole cold water fatty fish kind of thing. But some of the benefits of omega-7s are pretty darn amazing. Huge, huge results when it comes to controlling hunger, and I'll get to that in a second. Huge results and research backed stuff when it comes down to reducing inflammation in the body, and even more research when it comes down to overall insulin production and insulin sensitivity, meaning it can help you utilize carbs better. So one randomized placebo study done by the Journal of Clinical Lipidology took patients that had dyslipidemia, which means they had high cholesterol, and they also had systemic inflammation, meaning they had inflammation throughout their body, and they had them supplement palmitoleic acid, omega-7s, for 30 days. Then there was, of course, a control group too. Those that took the palmitoleic acid had tremendous results. What happened? They had massive, massive reductions in C-reactive protein, meaning they had huge reductions in inflammation, okay? Then they had dramatic reductions in triglycerides, then they had dramatic reductions in low-density lipoproteins, LDLs, and huge increases in high-density lipoproteins, HDL cholesterol, so the good cholesterol. So a study that backs up the general health of omega-7s. But let's talk about the nitty-gritty good stuff. When it comes to insulin and utilizing carbs, palmitoleic acid, omega-7s, help us utilize carbs better. You see, what they do is they prevent beta cell apoptosis of insulin cells. What that means is that insulin cells don't die. Apoptosis means premature cell death. So what we are doing is we're preventing the cells that are created that are working with insulin from dying. So that means when we do have carbs, our body is able to produce insulin and able to utilize it better, meaning it doesn't go to fat as much. Additionally, it helps muscle cells utilize insulin better. That means that when you do consume carbs, the actual carbs are going to go into the muscle and do what they're supposed to do with the muscle and allow the body to communicate better rather than having your blood sugar elevate and just stay elevated. We don't want that. But there's more. There's more when it comes to these omega-7s. And it has to do with your appetite. There have been studies that have shown that omega-7s dramatically reduce the appetite. But they do through something called cholecystokinin. This cholecystokinin is a satiety hormone. It allows our body to feel like it got enough food. And this palmitoleic acid that contains the cholecystokinin is usually, of course, in fish. And most people say when they eat fish, they feel satiated and they feel full. Putting it together now? So now let me circle back to the whole omega-3, omega-7 combination thing. Remember, we found out that omega-7s work well with omega-3s, but we found out because they are a lipokine, they control what those omega-3s are doing. So if you take those omega-3s alone in supplement form, you may not be getting the full effect. But if you get those omega-3s from fatty fish, then you're getting it along with the omega-7s that are dictating what those fats actually do. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, can you get this omega-7 in a supplement form? Short answer seems to be yes, 
But the cool thing is, because you're watching this video, you're ahead of the curve. This isn't something that's big in the supplement industry yet. So now you have an upper hand to go out and eat the right kind of fish to get the most out of your body so you can reduce inflammation, so you can start affecting your triglycerides and start affecting your blood sugar, but you might also be able to handle that diet a little bit more when you can control your appetite. As always, make sure that you like this video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out some of the other playlists that I have describing everything that you can do to get the most out of your life. I will see you in the next video.